why we created this video is because we get a lot of inquiries asking if we can add an additional field like on the uh, contact form page or if is it is it possible to add additional field on the product page uh, on the customer login page in the last video i showed you how you can add additional field on the product page now today i'll show you how you can add these additional fields on your contact form before we get started if you like our videos please do subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below how you can add an additional field on your shopify contact form this information can be collected using any html input type so the only requirement is that this html input type should have a name attribute with a particular syntax that shopify is uh, provided for example you can actually add a cell select input type where you can actually uh, ask the customers on what is the subject of the email that they are sending whether it is about their uh, order status or if it is about their delivery status or if it is about any returns or refunds or any such information that you can actually collect from the customers using these additional fields you can also collect additional information from the customers when they actually create your account using this using this similar method so let us see how we can do that this is uh you have to do some changes on the code actually you will have to edit the code so i will show you how you can do that when you click on actions you can see there is an option called edit code over here you need to click here so this is the place where actually we edit the code for customizations on the shopify store which we cannot achieve through the three theme customizations we have over here so uh, when we have to uh, customize uh, and add code into the Shopify themes, uh, we do it over here. So this is actually the basic layout of the Shopify themes. Uh, now uh, what we have to do is uh, so we need to edit the contact as form under the template. You can see page dot contact dot JSON. So you have to click on that. So here what you can see is, is a JSON format. So what it says is uh, this is the sections uh, and what all sections are added on those pages. That is what is shown here. So uh, in this uh, contact page we have added only one section which is of type form and the name of the section is contact form. So what you have to do is we will have to go to the sections and see uh, find a file with this name contact form find the section with this name. Uh, so here is the uh, section that has the name contact form click on that. So what you can do is you can uh, search for the word form uh, and uh, then you will find the word form over here. Uh, and it is within this uh, form uh, tag actually with this form starting tag and there is an end tag called end form it is within this form that all the uh, fields of the form are added we really copy this uh, name field uh, which actually gets the name from the customers and then you can uh, go and uh, paste it where uh, paste it in the position that you want the uh, extra field to come so i want it to be uh, placed below the telephone number field so what i am doing is uh, this is i will go and paste it over here so now we have to edit certain contents over here so we have to uh, change this uh, id name and uh, say this is a uh, contact form for uh, we are getting the subject from here and uh, uh, here also we'll have to change that so this is an attribute uh, this has to be there contact and in this uh, square brackets you have to add the attribute name so uh, and here we have to edit the uh, attribute name of the contact to subject next we have to edit the placeholder text here also we need to change the name of the two subject so uh, what this is actually showing this is a for the translation purposes now we need to edit this uh, label attribute as well and so i'm telling this is a contact uh, label for subject you can give that name like that and here also you have to give the label name as subject and you have to click on save now if you see uh, on your uh, contact page this there is a new field have come here so you see an error message here saying the translation is missing uh, uh, what we have to do for that is so what that error message shows is we need to add this translation on our uh, locale 
uh, en.default.json file this is a new translation that we need to add now so you can copy this and uh, at the bottom you can see a folder called locales click on locales and there you can see en.default.json file click on this file and you can actually type for the word templates when you search for templates you can see templates over here so what we have to do is we have to add uh, the uh, translation for our subject over here we need to add the key that you have given over here that is this value okay this value you have to copy this and add subject over here and then you have to give what the translation or what the text have to be add subject over here and you need to add a comma and you can click on save now you see you can see that it is refreshed and the translation subject have come and that error have come want to add now if you want to add drop downs or a check boxes also you can add that so for that you have to head on to shopify.dev and then here you can see drop down type radio type and check box type you can copy this uh, code and paste it in your uh, contact form